Can you talk us through the businesses in China uh, and the response in South Korea? Well, first of all, in China, of course, uh, the the directives from the top, Xi Jinping, is get business back going. But that's been tough, as we've just outlined. I think Bloomberg Economics, as of last week, said the Chinese economy was at about 50, maybe 60 percent capacity. So there's a lot of room to go as far as getting people back to work and getting those factories up and going. And the latest developments are uh, Wuhan, of course, which is the epicenter, is going to start allowing non-local residents to leave the big quarantine. Uh, so that, of course, obviously runs the risk of possibly spreading it further. But we're also getting six provinces now lowering their alert response levels. So that could also pave the way for more people getting back to work. Guangdong province, which is the second most hard hit uh, province in China after, of course, Hubei, uh, is the latest one to lower its alert level. So getting people back to work is obviously a very big priority of the government. But as South Korea, boy, they have a big problem. The, the president there, Moon Jae-in, and just raising uh, the national alert level uh, to the highest, uh, he can restrict uh, travel and uh, they've already quarantined much of the city of Daegu. Actually, all the citizens of Daegu are getting tested. Uh, some government officials saying there could be upwards of 37,000 people who are showing symptoms of that disease. We're getting the Bank of Korea as well. Uh, starting just a few minutes ago, was scheduled to hold an emergency meeting and widely expected to possibly cut uh, interest rates at the regular meeting that is going to be on Thursday. But South Korea now having 763 confirmed cases and seven deaths.